Good morning. This is Meryl. Hi everyone. Today's topic is finding joy. And for our definition, we go to my smiling brother Emmett at the dictionary desk. Good morning, Meryl. I'm defining joy as a feeling of great delight, intense, ecstatic happiness. I'll take some of that. <laughs> you remember the other day when I was taking air out of that inner tube? Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah, that, that was fun. Oh, that was really fun for whatever reason. I don't know if it was like the, the of like the air going out. It was just taking air out of an inner tube. I don't know. There's really like random things in life that bring you joy for some reason. <laughs> or what about? <laughs> Are you really enjoying this? Yeah. It's just really satisfying. This is proof that if you want to find joy, especially in the little things, you need to think like a child. And no one proves that point better than the kids you're about to meet. This is a story from my archive about how you can find pure joy, even in the most unlikely places. Kyle Critchbaum of Adrian, Michigan is vacuuming on cloud nine. It's kind of like people who like baseball better than football. You like vacuums better than? Everything. <laughs> And he's felt that way since before he could say Hoover. When Kyle was a baby in his little baby seat and I'd be vacuuming, um, he, would just, he would just be mesmerized by the vacuum and he would just, he'd follow it everywhere. So his mom got him his own vacuum at age one, dressed up as a dirt devil for Halloween at age two, and as his former teacher recalls, was vacuuming during recess at age six. And actually one day vacuum one side of the room, the next day vacuum the other side of the room, also vacuum the principal's office, anywhere he could vacuum. Later, he started collecting them. It's a slow starter, but it still runs perfect. Much to the chagrin of his older sister. He's constantly vacuuming and that's all I hear. And it's just like, why? Why, 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 why? I don't understand. Do you remember what it was? Kyle is so obsessed he had me call my parents to find out what vacuum I grew up with. They had a JC Penny at one time. A Pencrest? <gasps> Apparently, this particular vacuum is very rare. Only one other is known to exist. What'd you do with it? You threw it out? And there went oh. his holy grail. But that's part of the joy for Kyle, the quest. He repairs neighbors' vacuums and uses the money to acquire more Did it survive? and more vacuums. When is enough enough? My parents say that all the time. When I go off to college, my parents say that they're going to have a big vacuum sale. He thinks they're joking. I'm not so sure. It's been 16 years since we first told that story. Is it possible? Is he still finding joy from vacuum cleaners? Let's find out. Hello, Kyle. Hello, how's it going? Good. Do you still have your collection? I do. I have a shelf with like uh, vacuum stacks vertically and horizontally across some shelves. Wow. Did you ever get your hands on a green pen crust? Ah, I sure did. You did? Isn't that hilarious. Where did it come from? It wasn't from Toledo, Ohio, was it? It was from Akron, Ohio. Oh, it could be the same Wait, one. Yeah, no way. <laughs> I know, maybe somebody picked it up. What has been your most joyous moment as a collector? If I find something that like one of my friends is after and then I can restore and surprise them with it, that's always fun. My restoration- Wait, 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 wait. What, what, what kind of friends do you have? Vacuum <laughs> friends, come on. Because if you surprise me with the old vacuum, <laughs> I'm not sure that would bring me joy. That's awesome. How have you been able to maintain this childhood joy into adulthood? I don't know, I feel like we get so dogged nowadays with like everything that's going on in the world that you have to find something to like and appreciate, you know? Kyle, thank you so much for spending time with us. Thank you. I'm glad we did that lesson because if he can find joy in cleaning equipment, we should be able to find it in a lot of other unlikely places. All we need to do is think like a child. We'll see you next time. Until then. Stay kind. <laughs>